This video is going to be covering the hue shift part of the shader, which is the ability to shift the hue of a color. So you can see this thing is by default red, and we are shifting the hue about 50%, so it's going blue. And you can sort of visualize that if you go here on this color wheel. So if we are red, we shift 50% around the circle, we're in this blue area. And if I say move it to this purpley pink, it's going to shift 50% to green. I'm going to leave it in this reddish. And the area it is shifting hue is based on the mask. So if I open up this mask right here, you can see it's kind of got the same pattern. The white areas are being fully shifted and the gray areas are sort of blending in. They're slightly shifted. And there's two ways that you can shift a material in the hue shift. You can use the replace method which is what this is doing and the non replace so what replace does is it takes these white areas and sort of just makes them that hue and then the gray areas are kind of like partially that hue so they're these blended blue areas but the non replace method is going to sort of say like if you hue shift it 50% these white areas will be 50% but these gray areas will be 25% and that's what you can see on this one. So let me just get back to the hue shift material. You can see the white areas are fully hue shifted and the areas around it where it sort of fades out are hue shifted partially. And you can mess with that and it sort of gives you like a more psychedelic look. This is useful if you just want to do like a continuous hue shift, but it's probably going to be less useful than this one. So as I was saying about continuous hue shifting, you can do that by adjusting the shift speed. So right here you have shift speed, and if I wanted to continuously shift hues very fast, I could increase that. If I wanted to go slow, I could do that as well. And again, you can use the replace or non-replace. So this one is non-replace, so this is unchecked, and this one is replace. So it is only shifting hues in the places you want it to. And this one sort of shifts hues across the whole thing. Last but not least, we're going to cover the mask, which we basically covered already. This is just sort of showing that you have tiling and offset, and like I can tile it a bunch in. Oops, that is a wrong material. I can tile it a bunch in one direction or even more. And you can just play with that. There's panning, everything like you would see in any part of the shader. So if you wanted to have like a maybe like a, a sword that you shifted upward, you could like pan the hue shift up the sword. I'm just going to leave it at this speed and you have your UVs and stuff like I explained in the main tutorial. All right, that covers hue shifting. So if you have any questions about this, please direct them to the discord. There's a link in the description below. This scene will be available in the 6.1 release of the shader, which is available right now to patrons and will be available in the coming month or two to uh, everyone else for free. The reason it's going to take so long is because I literally need to make a tutorial for all of these categories and their subcategories. Alright, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.